Gem Pages product page customization tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with customizations on product pages using Gem Pages. Because we all know that building a Shopify store can be so difficult. And when you are creating these amazing products, you want them to stand out in their product pages. The default template for product pages on Shopify is very basic and it's something that you're going to find in a lot of different stores. So using a application like Gem Pages can help you in elevating your product page and making it look more interesting and providing a different branding to your Shopify store. So let's jump right in. Now, the first thing that we have to do is that we have to install the Gem Pages application onto our Shopify store. So, to do this, we're just going to click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings on the bottom left, you are going to click on apps and sales channels on the left. Once you click on apps and sales channels on the left, you're going to click on Shopify App Store. Once you open up the Shopify app store, you're just going to search for gem pages. And once you search for gem pages, you will see this application called gem pages landing page builder. So you're just going to open this up and then just click on install over here. Once you click on install, this will open up a new tab and you're just going to click on install once more. And just like so, the Gem Pages application has now been installed onto our Shopify store. Now, there are a couple of things you do need to know before you can get started with building your pages on Gem Pages. You have to ensure that your pages are enabled and your website is a public website. Another really important thing to note is that on the free version of Gem Pages, you can't create, you know, a bunch of different pages. You do have the limitation that there are a limit to the number of pages that you can create. You can find these limits in the plan section on the left and you will see over here on the free version, you can create one published page. Then if you want to upgrade and enable the full features of Gem Pages, you can get started with their build plan starting at $29 a month. This allows you to add upwards of 20 sections with all page types and unlimited published pages. So you can really choose whatever you want and add that to your page. I'm gonna go on to pages on the left and we're gonna get started. Now over here, you can click on product and once you click on product, you can see over here, you have the Shopify original product template. So you can click on view live to view it or you can just click on create new page and get started. Select the option of product pages over here. And once you select the option of product pages over here, you can go on ahead and choose the product page that you like the best. You can see you have two pages worth of templates available and you can customize these to your personal preference. Now I want to make this look a bit different. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. This looks pretty nice or maybe even this one. But this is very similar to the default template. So I think I'm going to go with this style over here and I'm just going to click on select. Once I click on select over here, I can begin editing the gem pages product page template. So you guys can see this is what it's going to look like. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to edit it on the top. So we're going to edit the logo. You can click on the logo on the top. And then on the left, you will have this default logo. So we're going to delete that and then click on upload image on the left. Once you click on upload image on the left, you can go on ahead and add your own logo image. Now your logo image will be placed at the top center. Now, once you've done that, it's time to start creating the rest of your page. On the right, it has the product title, then a star rating, and then a text block. We're going to click on this text block and we're going to go into product and on the left, I'm going to click on pick a product and I'm going to go with this sample product over here and I can click on sync and it can sync up the description. Then you have the layout on the left so you can choose this type of layout or this type of layout. You can also fit it to the content or fit it by ratio. Then you have two columns that are set up and then below that you have the full width size or the border size. Now below that, if you scroll down, 
you can see this has a simple section that is CAD paid production specification. So this is not relevant to me and my product. So I'm just gonna remove this column completely. And over here, I am going to select different products. So display by assigned product. I want to select it manually and I can pick a product and I'll just pick a different product like this one. And over here, I have a secondary column. So I think I'm going to delete the column only. So we can just move this section to become a full width section. You guys can see you have the option to further divide sections as well. But we're going to go into this column here. And on the left, we can see we have other options. You don't have to necessarily re-add the same thing. I'm just going to click on delete to remove that. But first, I will just copy this column and I'll just copy the row, not the row, but instead I'm just going to copy this section. Yeah, and I'll just add it to the bottom and I'll delete this entire column like so. So once we've done that, we can move towards the bottom. Now, these sections, again, these are not going to be relevant to my types of product. So because this is a clothing store, I don't need all of this. I'm just going to click on delete to remove that from my product template. Any other information that you want to display within your product pages can be added over here. You can do a simple add icon. You have this add icon over here. Click on that. Do a simple click over here. And you have multiple different types of pre-made sections that you can use, as well as other simple individual elements like lines, lists, banners, images, columns, headers, as well as uh, checklists. You can add sticky card, product quantities, and much more that you can include. Once you have customized it to your personal preference, you're going to click on the top right where it says product assigned, and you have to assign this to your products. So I want to apply this to all of my products. I want all of my products to be displayed with this type of template. I'm just going to select that and then just click on confirm. And then I'm going to replace current product page. You're going to have to check this option if you are looking to replace, you know, the current uh, style. And we're going to click on confirm because we do want to replace the current style. And then once you click on confirm, your new gem pages, product pages are now going to be live on your Shopify store. It might take a couple of seconds for the changes to completely take effect onto your Shopify store. So you just have to wait for this product template to be applied. Once we have done that, we have to click on publish. We have to turn on our Shopify product template and we do have to make our Shopify store live. We can just go into products over here and then view what the product page looks like by clicking on this preview button. And just like that, this is the new style of our product pages. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.